Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Sometimes you discover things about software without reading any manual. And uh, this happens to me all the time. In fact, that's how I got in to being passionate about software and hardware, is just trying new things without reading about them, just diving in and just having at it. And there's times that I will discover something new about a, a program or an operating system that I had no idea existed. I just hit it accidentally, and that's what happened this evening. I was clicking around for some reason, and I had my finger apparently on the Alt key on the keyboard, and suddenly a uh, a little window popped up inside of Outlook, defining a word. I was like, "What the heck?" So I I tried to repeat the last steps, and it seemed that I could hold on to the Alt key, double click a word, and it would open up the research pane. And whatever word I double clicked on while holding on to the alt key would pop up the definition. And I was, I was flabbergasted. And then from there, there's the thesaurus, a translation. Uh, and of course, if you can't find it, you could do uh, searches on the internet for that word from within this little applet. That kind of blew me away. And apparently, you can do the same shortcut, hold on to alt, double click a word inside of at least Word 2007. And these types of shortcuts, I mean, that may sound, well, who's going to use that? Actually, that's going to come in very handy. There are times that people send me emails or documents, and I have no idea how to define the word, so I just kind of skip over it. Well, now, I'm going to be able to alt-click the word, alt-double-click, I guess, and get an instant definition of the word so long as it's been defined by the dictionary. In most words... Um, in an email likely have been defined by a dictionary unless of course they're talking about general brands or specific names in which case looking them up is it takes a different uh, level of research altogether but this is something that's going to be very very helpful and I would say this is almost as good as having a spell check for the first time spell checks change the way we write because we're less reliant on looking up words in the dictionary um, this is certainly going to change the way it, not necessarily that I compose my emails. I certainly write the you know the way I'm thinking. I don't try to add fancy language to the emails. But when I get an email with fancy language, uh, specifically from a lawyer, you know, throwing around big words, uh, saying that I lack compunction, I have to look up the word compunction. Well, I happen to know what compunction means. And if you don't know, type it into your version of Word. I don't know if it works in earlier versions at this point in time, since I just discovered it here in uh, in uh, 2007, specifically Outlook 2007 and Word 2007. It's a nice shortcut. Um, I've always liked those shortcuts, getting uh, to more information in a quick fashion. Uh, I would consider that a keyboard shortcut. Uh, holding on to Alt and clicking, that's a keyboard-mouse combination, but you need the keyboard uh, to do it. Um, keyboard shortcuts have been around, well, ever since the keyboard's been around in software. It's just an easier way for you to get to certain features in the software rather than click, 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 if you can get to the same thing by pressing a key or pressing a combination of keys. Many of the programs that you already have installed likely have keyboard shortcuts already. What you need to do is just go into the menu uh, inside your program, if you have menus, in some cases you don't, or hover over an icon and it may tell you, or it could tell you, the keyboard shortcut equivalent to get to the same feature. So if you get something uh, over and over again, you have to access the same feature over and over again using the keyboard shortcut. Once you master that, you've mastered everything. Uh, keyboards were really the only thing we had before the mouse in terms of uh, input devices for the computer. And uh, the keyboard shortcuts are just as relevant today as they are you know, going to be likely into the future. As, as long as we have keyboards uh, hanging around, we're going to need keyboard shortcuts. So my, uh, my favorite keyboard shortcut of all time, and I, I don't believe I'm actually saying this, my favorite keyboard shortcut would probably be well, I'm going to say my three key keyboard shortcuts. Control C, Control X, Control V. And uh, this is cut, copy, and paste. And I use that to cut, copy, and paste everything. Images, text. Um, I never use the mouse, or seldom, I should say, not never. Uh, seldom use the mouse to copy or paste something. It's, it's always the keyboard shortcut. Control C, Control X, Control V. 
Now, my question to you then is, what's your favorite keyboard shortcut? Or do you know of a shortcut that hardly anybody knows about? Whether it's something for Windows, whether it's something for the Mac, whether it's something for a browser, what's a keyboard shortcut that it saves you time? Uh, and that's really what I'm uh, interested in, in learning more about because there may be another keyboard shortcut that I just haven't really looked at or necessarily thought about using. But hey, if it can shave five seconds off of my day, I know that sounds crazy, but those five seconds kind of add up over time. Uh, so leave your favorite keyboard shortcut or any other keyboard shortcut tips or tricks um, that you may know of, whether it's in a, a popular program or you know in the operating system in general. I'd be interested in seeing them, as would everybody else. And of course, feel free to share them anytime on our website. We're there chatting away as, as these people are saying. That's right, they've got the URL absolutely correct. I don't know if they've got that programmed into a keyboard shortcut, but it is very easy to get to, live.perillo.com.